What's going down, Jackson? Incrowd.com. You with the kid Shane O'Mac for the second installment of, of course, your favorite show, Shane O'Mac's Corner. And today, we have a special guest with us, none other than Aboriginal Entertainment Slim Pusher, man. Independent recording artist doing big things on the local tip and nationwide. Let's go. Bang, 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 Slim Pussy in the house, man. Yo, what's going what's on? What's happening, man? What's happening? Big things is popping right now for this gentleman, ladies. It is. You already know how he gets down. You know, at the parties, everybody used to him like, oh, hey, Slim. You know, he rocking the crowd, rocking the mic at the parties. But recently, you had one mixtape came out. What was the name of that? The Bing Bang Bada Mix Up. The Bing Bang Bada. Hold on, you got to let everybody know. Because a lot of people be messing, messing it up. up. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. So, so instead of saying Bing Bada, Okay. It's bang bada. It's bang you know bada. Saying? Instead of saying bang bang bada boom bow bow whatever you want to say <laughs> on the end of that is bing bing bang bada man. Bing bang bada bow is what I say when I'm all hyped up. Hyped you up, know, it's right. almost like a it's almost like a tag. Right. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, you know like that tag. I'm finna be somewhere whenever you hit right. it. Whenever you hit it. Now, yeah. uh, we all want to know, man. Number one, what is slim pushing? What does that mean? Where does it come from? And then where does the the bang by the bow. Well, I mean, where does that come from? That's something from the past, something your mom used to say when she would to. <laughs> bang, bang, by the bow. Uh, Sit no, down, boy. But, well, I'm, I'm going to start with Slim Pusher first. Okay. Cause Slim Pusher, you know, at first I chose the name because it just sounded good to me. It had a <laughs> ring to it and it sounded good to me. But as I went on through life, it started to gain its meaning. You know, so Slim, even though I am Slim, is all get out. <laughs> you know, Slim, the, uh, the word Slim is like a small amount of something. And right. push it, I take push from from Curtis Mayfield's definition of push it. Like right. never stop, never quit. No matter how hard it get, you just never stop going on to success. Right. So I took the small part and I took pushing and put it together and just said pushing little by little. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So you know, you don't have to take a big old leap to success because everything is in steps. Right. So you take little by little by little by little and before you know it, you're there. So okay. I said slim pusher taking success little by little. Okay. Now, uh, that, that's, that's pretty deep. Yeah, get down, get down in there. First, you first, just thought first, it was old cross and push we, we, we down in there. First question. <laughs> All right, man, second question. You know, bing, I'm sorry, bang, bada, bow. Yeah, bing, bang, bada. Bing, bang, bada. Yeah. Where does it come from? What is that? Okay. That's just the... That's that. That's the crunk version of you? That's the amped up guy? Or that's, you know what I'm saying? Like that's I said, it's a tag. It's a tag. I don't really like to get too much information about it because that's why you have to hear Bing bang bada mix up. Like if you don't listen to that, you won't know what kabada mean. You won't know what bada mean, bang bada, or bing bang bada. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sound crazy, but when you start listening to the music, watch how you figure everything out. Cause you right. go to bingbangbadabow.com and everything is there along with the music, and you got it all to go. Oh, See, this is why I did that. Okay. Let me tell you why I did okay. that. Okay. It's because nobody listens to music anymore. Nobody. Okay. Like, every time you hear it, first thing they say, oh, that's a good beat. I just like the song because it got the beat. Right. But now you got to listen to the music in order to figure something out. Right. So if you really want to know, if you really want to know what Slim Push is all about, you listen to the music. Because it's, it's nothing fake there. It's all what you what you need to hear. It's all written. Okay, that's, that's what's up. Uh, even deeper question number two. <laughs> now, that you, let's talk about the, uh, the mix-up, man. The first mixtape. What's your favorite track from the, from the mixtape? From uh, well, first it's not a mixtape. It's mix, a up. mix up, mix up. <laughs> you know, I, I don't mind right. correcting people, man. Yeah, mix, so up. <laughs> mix up, mix up. Let me get that yeah. right. It's so a mix up. So What's which your one? The track? first one. Or the first one. The first one. The first, first one. one. Uh, my favorite song on it was from the ceiling. From the ceiling. From the ceiling is about a regular guy okay. that goes into the strip club. He ain't no baller or nothing. He just got a little bit of money that enough to spend in the strip club. <laughs> he got a budget. Right. He got he got just enough. I know I can throw 50 ones and still have. That's what the attitude he had. With. <laughs> but he's going in only to see this one bad, this bad, bad, bad chick. You know what I'm saying? This is one chick he always liked to see. Right. And he always come to see her. So it's nothing like, it's no big old make it rain type of song. It's just a normal guy going to club. Sit down, and he feel like he in his own world. Nobody else is around him. It's just me and this girl dancing, and it's going crazy right now just for me. Just you and her? Just you and her? Yeah, that's all. That's why it's my favorite song, because it's, it's, it really happened. Like, everything in that song is true, 
You know what I'm saying? All that stuff really happened. So I just put it into a story form. Okay. And every time I hear it, you know, I can think back to exactly where I was. So that's why it's my, <laughs> my favorite song, you know, on the on the, on the So, mixer. okay, you got From the Ceiling, uh, another hot joint people is feeling, um, Tell Your Trunk Up. Tell Your Trunk Up. And then you got, uh, I don't know, I, I want to get the letters correct, W. Uh, WGNL. Now that now that track. WDGNL. Like a radio station. You got those two tracks right now that are blazing up, you know what I'm saying, the clubs here and there. Where did the WDGNF come from? Alright, that that came from, you know, uh Lil Al used to always be around me saying that. Now he's from the Delta and they have a lot of they was they had their own little team down in the Delta. Right, that's where the whole Mohead Swag movement came from, kind of. Right, right, right. right. So okay. that's why I first heard it. You know what I'm saying? I first heard it from Lil Al saying it and no telling where you got it from, but that's where. <laughs> so I first heard it. It came to the club and we used to always say it in the club. It just got so popular in the club that when somebody said it on the mic, it became a chant. Right. So I said it don't make no sense to have this chant. And don't have no good music to go with it, <laughs> right? Okay. So I said, you know, what I'm saying, I just made, I just wanted to put something in the club to go along with that chant. Mm -hmm. So when you chant it, now you got good, good music to go along with it. It make it boosts the excitement in the club. Because That's I mean, what that, I was about. that to me, that chant, you know, what I'm saying, it can go with a lot of different stuff in life. I mean, you know, what I'm saying, I can see somebody's mama riding down the street, and you know, what I'm saying, she just. Right, she <laughs> don't get no. Hey, you know, get no. But see, but see, the term has been around forever. forever. I mean, right. you know, what I'm saying it's it's the I know the the chant where the chant came from. Uh -huh. But everybody and their mama can get <laughs> that right. Yeah. Say, I always say it because it's it's almost the same thing as as Malcolm X uh, by any means necessary. Uh -huh. People always raise eyebrows as soon as I say <laughs> it. But what it really means is I don't care what nobody else around me thinks. I'm gonna head for this. If I got a goal, I don't care who trying to stop it. I'm going to aim directly for it, and I don't give no what. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I don't give no what about nothing else going around me, period. Because this, this is what's about to happen. Right, and when you feel like that, there's nothing that can stop you. Like, man, I'll blow your head off. I don't, I don't, so, man, I do this. I don't care. Well, you ain't even fired. So, because all I want to do is this right here. So, right. if I can get here, and you're not affecting nothing else in between me and, and what I'm trying to get to, then, hey. Yeah, you can't offend me and you can't affect me. Right, and and you going you getting there by a little step and a little step at a time, like you said mm -hmm. earlier. You keeping the whole slim pushy thing going with it. Right, midget step, little people step. <laughs>